Well, good morning, everyone. It's Charles here from Charles Hent Photography. On Thursday, the 20th of February, we're at Lake Eden here this morning, and I'll probably spend about an hour here walking around the lake. I'll show you what the bird life can be around. I'll post the descriptions and the, the GPS location to this lake in the comments below in the description. So you can easily find where this place is. But it's only about five minutes drive from the Big Westfield Shopping Centre at North Lakes. Today, like always, I'm using my Nikon D7500 and the Nikon 200-500 f5.6 lens to photograph the wildlife. And I'm also using this morning my new motorized gimbal mount, the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. Shaky videos should be a thing of the past. There's quite a lot of birds here that live on the water. This is an Australasian coot. We had a fairly nice thunderstorm here last night, so I think it probably scared some of the birds away. They're all hiding this morning. For a leisurely walk around this lake, you're looking about an hour or so. Oh, now we've actually got here. This is an Australasian swamp hen. And these birds actually are a bit territorial, but they actually live in family groups. So it's not uncommon to actually see a small group of birds actually looking after their young. This is a male in front of us, and he's not too happy because this is his nesting area that he's actually making here, so he's just letting us know that he's not too happy with our presence. So for the time being, I'll actually just stop here for a couple of minutes, take a couple of photos of this nice little bird, and then we'll keep going. The sun's already getting quite a bit warm now, so this starting part of the lake, there's not actually that much bird life unless there's some egrets around. And this gives you an idea of the lake. This road that I'm walking alongside here on the path is called Discovery Drive. And it runs, I'm pretty sure this is Discovery. It actually runs all the way through North Lakes. If you're actually after landscaping, this is a beautiful spot here to actually shoot sunsets. And last night here, a mate of mine, Dave Wynn, he was about in this location and there was the thunderstorm coming across and he got this ripper reflection photo of the, the hotel here with an almighty cloud formation and the lake was just dead still. I also like coming down here as well to do sunsets and sunrises, it's quite nice. This gives you a really good idea of the lake. If you come here and you're stuck with kids as well, don't worry about it. There's three playgrounds here that the, you can have a break with the kids and the kids can have a bit of a play. Now bird life in most, like in most places here, is very seasonal so don't think because you actually saw one bird, let's say in February, that it'll be here in May or June. The only little birds that I know that are here all the time are the little fairy wrens. They love this little grassy area here and the little shrubs. In summertime when the calistamins flower, we get the scarlet honey eaters here and they're just beautiful. 
they're very flighty so you've really got to have your shutter speed quite high to actually get them a very nice sharp photo of them for those that do like using their mobile to record videos like when you're out and about I definitely look at investing in one of these motorized gimbals the Osmo mobile only is by itself is around $155, $157 and it's a godsend no more shaky videos so we're just about opposite the lake the hotel here and it's pretty strange that there's actually not that much bird life here this morning you can actually see a few birds on the other side of the lake there's always darters, cormorants around and the australasian grebs my daughter calls the grebs a little ducking bird because they're forever ducking and if we look in the sky up there we got some big black cockatoos they always seem to fly over my place at about seven o'clock when i have to get up Oh, when we get round to the other side, we'll actually see the local swans. You can see a couple of swans on the other side. Now, just in here, there's actually a we'll walk in. Oh, it's actually, the water's too high for it. We'll actually go back around the other side. There's a nice little lagoon here. And I'll tell you why these lagoons are around here. So here we go. We'll actually come in here. The water's actually quite high here at the moment. We'll actually go around here. Now be mindful that, you know, like, well we've had a lot of rain, but our friendly snakes could be around. So this is one of one, two, four small lagoons around Lake Eden that have been built. Well, they were built when the lake was created, has an overflow. And right in the center there, you can actually see a huge grate. That's a stormwater drain that comes in from the street and all that. So what happens, instead of this stormwater flowing straight into the lake, it actually flows into these lagoons. And under us here is actually a, like a gravel bed where the water slowly seeps out back into the, into the lake. There's actually also an overflow just to our right where if the lagoon gets over a certain height, it just flows out. But this stops all the sediment actually flowing into the into lake, which is a really good idea. I can't actually see that much bird life here. Late afternoon here, you'll always find the Australian white ibises. A lot of people call them the bin chickens, resting up in the, the trees above us here. There's like a little island in the front here with a lot of vegetation. You'll, always, you'll normally find the intermediate egrets or the little egrets having a feed around. We'll keep walking and see what's around. Well, I've just walked a little bit further. So we're about just over halfway across the lake. There's a nice little pontoon here where it gets out into the lake. This is another nice spot if you're into landscape photography. At certain times of the year, I like to come, in, to come here and take some nice late afternoon sunset photos. You get some killer reflections here. Just across the other side here, in these trees, this is where all the black cormorants roost. And it's so hard to photograph them because they're actually out over the water and there's so many trees between them and us. So it's basically an admire area. We'll take a couple of photos and we'll keep going. Okay, we're on the walk again.
normally there is so many birds around here doesn't seem to be my luck today or two days ago when I was at the lagoon near Dolly's Rocks but like I said in that photo walk you accept what you get not every day will be a strawberries and cream day I do this for the love of it but it also keeps me fit so we're coming up to another one of these lagoons you can see we've had quite a bit of rain because there's actually water here my daughter always laughs because she sees this sign here says no swimming no diving no fishing most of the time this place is bone dry so now well, there's a little path here we'll actually take a left on the path now we're in summer and even though it's rained last night this is definitely a, an area here where you have to keep an eye on the little slithering creatures that there's a nice bird hide here a few years ago it was really nice here because all this grass that you see all these weeds reeds here that you see weren't here so I used to like setting up my tripod with my camera the bird life would actually get very close to you but now that's not the case so we'll walk through here now the reason I decided to go any clockways around Lake Eden this morning is that I wanted the Sun behind me and having the Sun behind you when you're photographing wildlife or even landscapes sometimes is that your subject is highlighted if I was walking the other way I'd actually have the Sun in front of me so the trees would be between me and the Sun any bird in the tree and they're just silhouetted now while I was just talking I noticed a little sacred kingfisher just fly on by this is the reason why I came along here because this is their little habitat area it's very hard to actually see them in the tree we've just finished breeding season so they, they're not calling out too much but most of the time you'll actually know where they are by their calls and I've actually got a little USB speaker at home portable speaker that I carry around me sometime which I play uh, some of these calls that I've actually recorded on my phone and the males will actually call out and they'll actually get quite close to you until they realize that they've been had <laughs> and then <laughs> they'll fly off a little bit but you end up getting a few photos of them anyway I'll actually do a little duck through these trees here Like to give you an idea like so this is what would happen if I would actually be walking the other way around the lake you see the sun's right in front of me and it is super bright and trying to photograph birds like this is just not a good thing so we'll keep walking the other way There's also quite a lot of brush turkeys around. Some people call them bush turkeys, but they're actually called brush turkeys. That's their proper name. So there's a little footbridge that we actually walk across to cross over to the other side of the lake. And just through these trees here is actually another one of these small lagoons that slowly drain into the lake. And last year the council actually spent quite a bit of money cleaning some of these small lagoons or ponds and this is one of them that they actually spent the most on this one here they actually got big excavators in there dredged a lot of the silt up rebuilt this rebuilt this retaining wall here and planted some reeds there it really looks nice I just cannot believe there is just no birds here this morning so and this is why I'm actually doing so much video just to show you guys because I'm actually not taking that many photos now you can hear there's some rainbow lorikeets in these trees here this area here has normally a lot of little fairy wrens 
And this is one of the little parks that, if you've got kids, they like coming here. When we walk around, we normally stop here for about 10 minutes. My daughter loves having a play. And then we keep walking. I'm actually quite gifted because she's really into nature, into wildlife and all that. So we bought her a little point and shoot camera last year for her birthday. So she comes out here with her little camera and takes some photos. And like most girls do as well, she'll borrow my phone, take a few selfies of herself. This is another one of these lagoons that drain out into Lake Eden. And you'll see here, you can actually see the water flowing out. It's actually flowing out from this little lagoon or pond, if you might call it that. And people that come here will tell you that there is normally an abundance of wildlife. We normally get egrets, there's a resident pelican around here normally, and so many little different types of honey eaters. Seems like I'm carrying three odd kilos of camera gear for nothing this morning. Well, I'm actually talking, I'm actually listening for bird sounds as well. And I've actually just spotted some fairy wrens. Yep, little male fairy wren just up in that tree there. Now I don't zoom out much because the resolution on my mobile when I zoom in is a little bit grainy. So he's quite nice there. I'll quickly stop and try and take a few photos of him. Well I just stopped for about five minutes. There were some very nice little fairy wrens. So when I stopped before I was actually just stopped to actually take some photos of some very nice little fairy wrens. I got a couple of nice photos of the male and the female. And I was very lucky, or maybe just paying attention, that the male actually had an insect in its mouth. So I'll put these photos into the timeline of the video so you can actually see. Now the little lagoon that you see in front of us here, we actually walked along on the other side of it. And there's another little nice platform here. And in front of us, I can actually see a black cobra. Now cumbrits feathers are not, like they need to dry out, so when they go for a dive or swim for a while, their feathers actually do absorb the water, they need to come out and dry themselves. And this little spot here, if I actually, right in front of us here, if the sacred kingfish is around, this is his little resting spot here. And the reason he stays here is because he has a bird's eye view of this little lagoon, so if there's any little small little fish that move in front of him, he's on them like a, like a flash in the pan. Now we'll see if this cormorant takes off on us. If he doesn't, we'll actually get quite close to him. There he goes, he's gonna fly off. There he goes. So it's quarter past eight now. So we've been walking just over 45 minutes and we're about three quarters of the way around. Sometimes I actually don't walk the whole way around. Like some mornings, because I know this side is quite difficult to photograph in the mornings. I'll actually park my car near the bridge and walk around two thirds of the way and stop at this spot here and then walk back. Oh, a little brown honey eater just in front of us here, getting stuck into the calistamins. They're a nice bird, but they're very bland. They don't call them the brown honey eater for nothing. They just, if you don't know what brown honey eater is, I'll put a photo of one that I photographed in this area here in this video. Oh, that'd be right. Now I've walked all the way around, you can actually see an egret on the other side of the lake. I'll walk in here. How far can I get in? For all this rain, I've got to be very careful. She gets a bit muddy. Pretty hard to see. I'll do it quickly. She's hard to see. Looks like an intermediate egret. It's right over on the other side of the lake. I'll take a couple of photos and just see how good they look. Then we'll keep walking. I just took a couple of photos of this beautiful little bird. He's right in the middle of the frame there. I don't often get the chance of actually photograph this 
small bird out in the open like that so I've actually already gotten a couple of photos before I start the video again. So we'll keep making our way along the lake. This area we're approaching here, I'll act I actually call it, I nicknamed it with my daughter, Lizard Alley, because there are so many water dragons in this area. They like to come out on the grass and on the concrete here. And there's one squirming away. I think the most we counted once with my daughter was over 30 of these little water dragons. He's just sitting there, standing there. Now when I was on the other side of the lake, I actually told you that these trees are in front of us here. These ones here. This is where the cormorants actually roost. It's so hard to see them, but there's actually two of them right in front of us here. Another little haunt if you like to photograph the little little long neck bridge turtle. Just over there. You can just see it. It's just there's a little log that's just sitting out of the water. There it is, you can just see it in the middle there. It's having a little sun bath, warming itself up. Let's see if we can get a photo of it, eh? I've got a couple of photos of the little turtle there. I'll put it in the description. As we come around the bend here, the light will actually be much better again. And from my position here, I can looking across the lake, I can actually see the resident swans are there. So we'll be able to take a few photos of them. So there's one of our resident swans. They're very tame. But when they're breeding, they can get a little bit vicious protecting their young. I'll grab a few photos of the swan. So we just walked about all the way around the lake now, coming back up to the hotel. When you walk around you can actually see a lot of people that they do quite a few laps of this, ho of this path. This gives you a very nice view of the the lake here. We're going on this side, it's quite bright. Actually walking along the path here. So we've just gone past the small coffee shop at the hotel. It's actually Looks like there's two sized cormorants here. Let's see if we can get a photo of them. Right in front of me here. I actually photographed two cormorants. I'll put their photos in the link. Well, it's quarter to nine. I've walked all the way around the lake. Give you guys a last view of this lake. I've walked well over an hour and a quarter now, nearly an hour and a half. Like always, if you like the video, give me a like, 
want to see more of my videos subscribe to my youtube the links are down the bottom in the descriptions that's it for now it's charles here from charles and photography